Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you today? We are good. Okay, it's nice. It's nice to see you. It's nice to hear you. And welcome to your last class of the second module. Okay, of beginner, beginner two. So let me show you, let me share with you the presentation, the class presentation. And as you can see, we have the use of can and can't. We continue with that topic and today is Thursday, September 29th. The objective for today is that by the end of this lesson, you will learn vocabulary for discussing different abilities and talents. Teacher, buenas tardes. Good afternoon, Jeremy. Este, le quería pedir que voy a estar solo de oyente porque ahorita voy para la clínica con mi niño. Ok, ok, Jeremy, I understand. Gracias, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, so as you can see in the activities, we have activity one, recording previous knowledge. Activity two, talking about talents. Activity three, questions with him. And activity four, wrap up. Okay, so before we start the class, I need to take the attendance and check who is here in the class today. So let me take the attendance, just a moment. And we start with Daniel Quintanilla. He's not here yet, okay. Daniela Magali. Present. Thank you, Daniela. We continue with Delmi Arely. Delmi Arely. Okay, we see that Delmi is there, but... Okay, what about Jocelyn Gabriela Martinez? Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jonathan Vladimir Salinas. Present. Thank you. Jose Vidal Vázquez Mentiva. Karen Elizabeth Garcia. Present. Thank you. Ma Catherine Yasmin. Present. Okay. Present. Okay, I see you. <laughs> eh, Margarita Elizabeth. Present. Margarita. Mayra Areli Méndez. Present. Mayra. Nimian Elizabeth. Present. Nimian. Victoria Ingrid. Present. Jancy Melanie. Present. And Jeremy Lisbeth. Okay. Present. Daniel Quintanilla. Present. Jose Vidal Vasquez. Present. Okay, thank you so much for your attendance. For your attendance, that's great. Well, uh, we see that the majority of you got the, the more than the 80% of the attendance. Okay, that's awesome, very nice. Okay, let's continue with the presentation. Okay, can you see my presentation, guys? Yes. Okay. Let's see, activity number one, we have uh, a game, okay? This game is called Stop the Bus. Have you played Stop the Bus before? Or maybe only in Spanish? Stop the Bus. Ay, se me ha ido, lo tengo en la punta de la lengua y me olvida. Bachirato, stop. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, to stop him. okay, but in English it's called stop the bus. Okay, stop the bus. So what we're going to do is that I'm going to give you a letter. You have to write a name with that letter, a verb, food, vocabulary, adverb of frequency, object, and country. Okay. So um um the first person to finish or to complete all the categories has to say stop the bus we count five five four three two one and then you have to stop writing nobody has to continue writing okay so this is the example as you can see here with the letter A, Anthony, Rye, Apple Pie, Always, Airplane, and Argentina. So are you ready? You have to copy in your notebook this table with the categories, letter, name, word, food, and frequency, object, and country. When you are ready, please tell me because we are going to start to play. Teacher, ¿podría repetir nuevamente la letra? <risas> ok, no les he dicho todavía la letra. Ahorita, okay. solo están, ahorita están copiando las categorías. Y cuando ya tengan las categorías, ya, es, ya tengan el cuadro, the table, in your, in your notebook. Tell me, let me know. Háganmelo saber para poder empezar. Ready? Are you ready to start the game? No, todavía no. <laughs> One minute, please. And ready. Okay, is everybody ready? Yes. Okay, so the letter is going to be the letter S. Okay, letter S.
remember when you finish, you have to say stop the bus. Stop the bus. Five, four, Bye. three, two, one, stop writing. Okay, it's time. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start with the name. Jonathan, what, what name do you have? Samuel. Samuel, okay. Mm -hmm. Does everybody have Samuel? Everybody else? Someone else? Me, Susan. Okay, Jocelyn, Susan. Susan. Okay, so you got five points. Victoria? Um. Sam. Mayra? <laughs> Sam. Sam, okay, five and five. Karen? Or Catherine? Margarita? Daniel? Jose Vidal? Samantha? Sara. Sara? Samuel? Samantha? Samuel, five points. Sofía. Yeah. Send. Send. Okay, and we are send. Skip. Ski. Okay. Skip. Sí. 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 Five points. Wow. Study. Study. Very nice. Swim. Swim. Nadar. Okay. Jocelyn. Jancy. Jose. Swim. Sí. Study. Swim. Okay. Study. Jose Vidal. Eat. Eat. I don't understand. Can you repeat, please? Jose? Eat. Maybe you can type it in the chat because we don't understand you. Okay, food. What about food with S? Soup. Salt. Salad. 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 Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Sushi. Sushi. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, what about the albero frequency? Sometimes. 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 Okay. okay. <laughs> Stressful. Sand, the arena. Sand, okay. It's object, something. It's stove. It's sofa. 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 Okay. So, shampoo. Sanda. Okay. Shampoo. Country. South Korea. South Korea. South Korea. South Korea. South Korea. It's Spain. No, let's put the letter E. L. What about Syria? Suriname. Suriname. Solomon Islands. Very nice, people. Okay, the next letter is going to be the letter H. Okay, letter H.
Stop the bus. Stop the bus. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, stop, everybody. Nimian, you start with the name. Helen. Helen, okay. Somebody has Helen? Helen. Okay. Helen. <laughs> Hugo. Hugo, okay. Hannah. Hannah. Henry. Henry. Heidi. Hey. Hector. Hector. I have Harry. Nobody has Harry? Hector. Hector, okay, five points. Verb? Hey. Hey. Have. 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 Five points. Hey. I have help. 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 You have help, Catherine? Yeah. Okay, five points then. <laughs> five points, okay. Food. Hamburger. 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 Dog, dog, dog. Um, dog. Yam. Ham. 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 I have ham. Okay. We also have honey. Okay, honey. Yes. Good. Alberta frequency? Easy. Hardly. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Yes. <laughs> Object? Oh, um. Hats. Hunter. Hat. Hat. Helicopter. Helicopter. I have helicopter yeah. too. <laughs> House. Okay. Hair. Hair. Very nice. Yes, more, more objects with H. House. Wow. Helicopter. Help. Help. Okay. Country. Had. Had. Honduras. Holland. Holland. Honduras. 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 I don't. Haiti. I have Haiti. 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 It's, it's pronounced. Haiti. Haiti. I have also Hungary. We have Hungary. And Holanda se dice Netherlands. Okay. Netherlands. Very nice. So now. We are going to write a story, a small story with the words we just wrote. For example, in my, I, I have this uh, story. Anthony is my best friend. He is from Argentina. He can cook very well. He can make a delicious apple pie. He arrives to El Salvador next weekend. He always travels by airplane. I hope he makes an apple pie for me. Okay, that's my story. Now you have to invent, create your own story with the letter S or with the letter H, okay? So I'll give you some time, some minutes for you to write the story and later we are going to share the story, okay? Do you want to work in pairs or do you want to work alone? No entendí, teacher. Lo siento. Okay, you are going to write a story. Van a escribir una historia usando las palabras de una letra, S or H, en su caso. Usted elige S or H, la S o la H. Y luego va a escribir, va a usar las palabras que tiene, el nombre, el verbo, la comida, outdoor frequency, object and country. But lo va a usar es la historia que va a inventar o va a crear. ¿Sí? Ahora les preguntaba si quieren trabajar individual o en parejas. Bueno, el que cae otorga. Entonces quieren trabajar solitos. Individuales, forever alone.
finished? Is somebody finished? Envié el mío al chat, teacher, pero no sé si estará bien. Es trabajo honesto. <laughs> That's important, right? Okay. Let's see. Would you like to read, Jonathan, your example? Okay. <clears throat> Samuel is my brother. He lives in South Korea. He loves to eat popcorn with some salt. Today he sent, sent me a photo. He's Making a South Korea castle with sand. Interesting, very nice, great job, great job, and you have a good imagination. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. Somebody else would like to share the story. Somebody else? Another Me? Person? Okay, Nina. Yeah, with the letter H. Okay. Helen has new hangers for your closet use. She cooking in delicious hot dog for dinner while planning his next trip to the Netherlands with Harley. With? with Harley. Difficilmente. Uh, Harley. <laughs> he hardly ever travels to Netherlands. Okay. Okay. Yes. Remember that this, the adverb of frequency is okay. We have the subject, the adverb of frequency, and the verb. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Okay. Good job, Ninian. Good job. Now, the next person, someone in Mayra. Okay. Sam sometimes go swim with your family. They eat so in the trip in a Sunday. Oh, very nice. Okay, Sam sometimes go swimming, go swimming with his family. They eat soup in the trip on a sunny day. Okay, very nice. Good job, good job. Okay, Victoria. Sam is my husband. He is from Sweet Korea. He can cook soup. Soap for me. He sometimes video call me. He sometimes skip the rope. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so you have you have a husband called Sam and lives in South Korea. Okay. Interesting. The last one, the last participation in this activity. The last participation. Me teacher. Okay, Daniel. Sara is my sister. She is from Seoul, Korea. She can ride a, a ride bike and she can do taekwondo. But can but uh, but she can cook. She see much uh, people in her work. She sometimes drives her car. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, everybody, for your participation in the activity. 
Okay. Now we continue, guys, with the next part of the class. And well, but before we pass, did you like the activity? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's so did funny. you learn? Did you learn something? Aprendió algo de la actividad? Did you learn something from the activity? Yes. Yes. Okay. You review vocabulary. And you can practice, you could practice adverbs of frequency, food, names of countries, names of objects, etc. Okay, now here we have an exercise about talents and abilities. Complete the word map with talents and abilities from the list. Okay, which talents that are here are uh, classified in these categories? Musical or artistic? athletic abilities, technical abilities, or other abilities. Okay, let me show you, or let me, let me send you this exercise link. It's here. Okay, si lo pueden ver? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. I'll send you the link. In case you want to complete it there, you want to complete it there. Okay, so we have to, for example, which are musical or artistic? Which are musical or, or artistic? Bake cookies, build a robot, design a website, do math in your head, edit a video, fix a computer, make electronic music, play chess, ride a horse, run a marathon, a skateboard, or take good photos? Make electronic yeah. music. Make electronic music, okay. Okay, which other? Edit a video. Musical or artistic? This thing a website? Este sería más técnico, creo, en exactly. technical. Exactly, but musical or artistic. Okay, maybe there are no others. Technical. Creo que es el único. Okay, technical, we have a video. Design a website. Mm -hmm. a website. Design a website. Design a website. Okay. Will, will a robot? Oh, nice. Build a robot. Fix a computer. Fix a computer. Fix a computer. Fix a computer. computer. <laughs> well, oops. Ah, is that tell, tell good jokes? Creo que sí es artistic. Son. Bromas. Bromas, son verdad. Bromas. Decir buenas bromas. Yes. Yes. Como talento. Mm, como comediante. Como talento. Ajá, como... Yes. Okay, also here we have, is that fix a computer? Here, uh, music or artistic, take good photo. Okay. Oh yes, fix a computer. Play chess, también. Atlet. Oh no, this is other, porque athletic, no es. Sí, athletic. Yes. Play chess, athletic. I think it's other. Play chess. Play chess. Okay. And athletic? Run a, a horse. Ride a horse. Marathon. Run a marathon. Skateboard. Ride a horse. Ride a horse. Maybe. In artistic, maybe we can have. Say good for. Say good for us. For us. Put it here. Very nice. Very nice, excellent. Okay, do you understand all of these abilities? 
to match in your head. I don't know. To math in your head. Hacer matemáticas en tu cabeza. In your head. You are good with math. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Do you have any questions about these guys? No? Okay, we can continue then. That was the exercise. Okay, very good. Now, in the next activity, we are going to read about this talent show. Okay? As I told you the other day, in talent shows or talents contests, people show their abilities. So we have here an example. Okay, we are going to listen and read, and we have to order the text from one to three. So let's, I hope you can listen. Yes, it's okay. Two, read. A, listen and read. Who is the winner of the talent show? Sally, you're a great dancer and you're very beautiful, but you can't speak Spanish, so don't sing Spanish songs. I'm sorry, but you aren't tonight's winner. You're a good band. Matt, you can play the drums well, and Rick, you're great on the keyboard. Zoe, you can play the guitar very well, but you can't sing. Sorry, get a new singer and come back next year. Leona, you are fantastic. You can sing well and dance too. You've got a lot of talent. And you are tonight's winner. Okay, so which is the number one? Leona, Matt or Sally? Sally is number one. Sally. Okay. Sally. Okay. Number two. Matt. Matt and Rick. So Leona is number three. Number one. If you notice, when they are uh, talking about talents, they you can, when you to talk about people's talents, you can use expressions like "you're fantastic." Oh, you're good, or you're a great dancer, or you're a great cook, or you are a great artist, or you are a great singer. Okay. Also, we can say this: you can sing well. Tú puedes cantar bien. No se dice you can sing good. Good, you sing good is incorrecto. Se utiliza el adverbio well. You can sing very well. Huh? You have a lot of talent. Okay. Cuando se usa good y cuando se usa well. Es que well es adverbio y lo usamos con verbos. Y good es un adjetivo para describir cosas o personas. Ejemplo, okay. she is a good singer. Good singer. She sings, estamos usando el verbo, she sings well. ¿Sí ven la diferencia? Mm -hmm. Well, lo vamos a usar con verbos. En good, con nouns, en things. Con nouns. ¿Ok? okay. Um, then we have a here, this one. You can, so, you can play the guitar very well, but you can't sing. What is the meaning of bad? Pero. Exactly. Pero. To make contrast, right? Tú puedes, tú puedes tocar la guitarra muy bien, pero... Pero no puedes cantar. Bad means that. Pero, you can't. Okay, but you can't sing. Okay. Let's continue with the exercise. Listen again and answer. Two. Read. 
A. Listen and read. Who is the winner of the talent show? Sally, you're a great dancer and you're very beautiful. But you can't speak Spanish, so don't sing Spanish songs. I'm sorry, but you aren't tonight's winner. You're a good band. Matt, you can play the drums well, and Rick, you're great on the keyboard. Zoe, you can play the guitar very well, but you can't sing. Sorry. Get a new singer and come back next year. Leona, you are fantastic. You can sing well and dance too. You've got a lot of talent. And you are tonight's winner. Okay, so who is tonight's winner? Leona. Leona. Leona is the winner. Leona, okay. Can Sally dance? Yes. 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 She can. Yes. Can. Okay. Can. can Sally speak Spanish? No. No. She can't. She can't. Now she can't. Right. She can. can Matt play the drums. Yes. He. Yes. Can? He can. Yes, he can. Can Zoe play the guitar? <laughs> uh, yes, she can. She can. She can. Can Zoe she can. sing well? So no. Sing well. No, she can. It says so. You can play the guitar very well, but you can't sing, right? <laughs> can Leona sing and dance well? Yes. yes, she can. Yeah, she can sing and she can dance. Okay, so that's why she is, she is the winner of the American Got Stalin or British Got Stalin. Okay, excellent. You are the winners of today's class. <laughs> okay, let's continue with the class. The next activity is just a review of Questions we can. WH plus can plus the subject plus the verb. Can you give me an example? Examples WH. For example, when watch. Uh, TV. Ah, but remember that you have to use can for abilities. Oh, sí, sí, sí. sorry. Who can play tennis? Excellent. <laughs> Who can play tennis? Yes. More examples? For an example, Jocelyn said that she can draw. So I can ask her, Jocelyn, what can you, what can you draw? When can you paint my house? Okay, never. I cannot paint your house. <laughs> I don't know where you live, Jonathan. Just kidding. Jocelyn, what can you draw? What can you draw, Jocelyn? Gabriela? Um, Maybe paisajes, landscapes, or people, or cartoons. Ah, 
de todo un poco. No. Nice. I have these examples. What can you cook or what can you do? Where can you buy tomatoes? Okay, the first question. What can you cook, Yancy? Yancy says she's a she's good at cooking. So what can you cook? Yes. What can you cook? No sé. <laughs> you can tell me. Oh, teacher, I can cook chicken. I I can cook Mexican food. Nice. Invite me. I love Mexican food. Okay. No, another question. Where can you buy tomatoes? Where can you buy tomatoes, Catherine? I can one dollar. Uh -huh. But where? Where? In the in the supermarket, in the market, in the street, in the store. Uh, the in the supermarket. Where can you buy tomatoes? I can buy um, in the supermarket. Or in the market, right? Uh -huh. Or in the bus, sometimes people sell tomatoes in the bus, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. One, two, nice. Good. Next question. Why can you speak English? Why can you speak English? ¿Por qué puedes hablar inglés? Why can you speak English? Because I study every day. Exactly. That's nice. That's the attitude, Jonathan. Okay, who can speak French? Who can speak French from the class? No one? No one, because I cannot speak French. <laughs> I, I try, but it's not my talent. I speak English better. <laughs> okay, who can ride a motorcycle? With my brother? Daniel. Oh, Daniel. Daniel can yeah. ride. Yeah. Okay. Can well, okay. When can you go to the beach? When? I can go to the beach uh, weekend. On weekends? Okay. Or Jonathan? Weekends. Uh, I go to next week. I can go to the beach next week. Okay. I can go to the I beach can go. on vacation. Okay. Another question. How can you improve your pronunciation? ¿Cómo puedes tú mejorar tu pronunciación? How can you improve your pronunciation? I can practice. Exactly. You can practice watching TV or movies, mm -hmm. series. Very nice. Yes, you can improve your pronunciation by practicing every day, reading out loud, leer en voz alta, reading out loud. Also, uh, watching, listening, and repeating, for example, uh, videos on YouTube. In English, of course, movies or singing songs, right? Singing songs can all, in English, of course, can improve your pronunciation. How often can you eat pizza? I often, often. Some days. You can open it. Nice for you. <laughs> and the last question. What can you buy with $10? Nothing. Nothing. One soda. Very lucky. <laughs> what can you buy with $10? Um, Nothing. 
I can buy clothes in the shopping center. Okay, with ten dollars you can buy some clothes in the shopping center. Yes, or uh, because in if you go to other places like Simán, Prisma Moda, ten dollars is not enough. No, no compro okay. ni un calcetín. No. <laughs> Need a pair of, not, not even a pair of socks. <laughs> okay, class, very nice. Okay, in the wrap up, we have another um, activity. And I will send you the link for this activity. It's called My, My Abilities. Okay, I will send you the link because you need to have it. Okay, you have it in the chat, in the chat box. Read about Robert and his abilities and then write about your own abilities. Hello, my name is Robert. I'm nine years old. I like a sport. I can play tennis, swim, surf, ski and skate, but I can't play football. I like music too. I can play the piano and the guitar, but I can't sing karaoke. I can also speak three languages, English, French, and Italian. I can cook, I can make pizza, pasta, and cakes. What about you? What can you do? Yeah, it's very nice, very interesting about Robert. He's only nine years old and he's very talented. He can do many things. He can play many sports. He can play instru uh, musical instruments and he can speak three languages and he can cook Italian food. So um, now you have to write about your abilities. Okay, so please go to the link and over here you're gonna write about your abilities. I'll give you some minutes to write about your abilities. About you. Hello, for example, you can say. Hello, my name is Rocio. I am 29 years old. Okay. I like cooking. I can cook different different dishes, especially Salvadorian dishes. or Salvadorian recipes, para cambiar la palabra, recipes. For example, I can make pupusas, tamales, soups, Empanadas, pastelitos, and others. I am an English teacher. So, I can teach English and Spanish because I teach Spanish too. Okay, what else? Teacher. Yes. A mí me sale que la página ya no está disponible al ingresar en, en el link. Oh. 
alguien más tuvo el problema. Try again. Alguien más ya pudo entrar. Mi, eh, lo que pasa es que no copió, si le damos clic directamente al link, no, no se va, pero eh, porque la última parte del link está como deshabilitada, algo así. Hay que copiar todo y volverlo a pegar. Eh, pero yo, no más que el primero que mandó pude entrar e ingresar bien cabal. Coach, no, no, ningún problema. A mí siempre me sale lo mismo. Ah, bueno, quizás se los mando por WhatsApp. O si ustedes lo pueden reenviar por WhatsApp y me ayudan en ese sentido porque yo tengo que traer WhatsApp. First. Ok, but anyways, we only have one more minute. You can do it. You can finish later. Lo pueden terminar ahí cuando puedan. But it's time to finish the class. Okay, so I would like you to tell me what did you like about this course? What did you learn? Mm -hmm. What was significant for you in this course? In este curso. ¿Qué se llevan de este curso? A ver. Ay, no me aflijan que nada. Dinami. Okay. Se lo decimos en español o en inglés, porque en español sí lo puedo decir, en inglés me está trabajando. La... Ah, pues la verdad, el aprendizaje que tuvimos, aparte el carisma suyo, también bastante dinámico, bastante bueno, este como profesora, los compañeros también muy atentos, y la verdad es que se aprende siempre un poco de cada persona, de Jonathan, de Jocelyn, de Catherine, uh, muchas personas. Eh, equivocándonos es como más aprendemos eh, corrigiéndonos que nos ayudan y todo eso y la verdad que yo siento que en mi caso yo he aprovechado bastante porque habían unos que otros anuncios en la calle que ya los entiendo que quieren decir siento que lo he aprovechado al máximo y, y pues a seguir adelante y espero volverlos a ver a todos mis compañeros y pues en un futuro volver a tener a usted como maestra en otro módulo y seguir adelante, que ahí siempre con sacrificio, porque ves que corriendo en las horas de almuerzo, que del trabajo para allá, para acá, con el compromiso de la familia, pero ahí vamos a estar siempre y me alegra que hayamos terminado y volverlos a ver a, a mis compañeros. Great, very nice. Thank you, Daniel, for, for your comments, right? Thank you so much. Ok, son buenas. Victoria. Sí. You are an excellent teacher. Um, thank you for class, dynamic, fun. Um, me gusta que también ya entiendo. Estamos como en la etapa de los niños cuando aprenden a leer. Eh, ya audios los logro, logro interpretar, adivinando, pero ya entiendo lo que, lo que hice. Entonces, thank you, teacher. Great. Congratulations to you all. Right. Yo, teacher, quería comentar que, por ejemplo, pues yo cuando estoy escuchando música en inglés, eh, me concentro así bastante y es como que ya entiendo más cosas así. Y a veces yo digo, esto lo vimos en la clase. No entiendo todo, ¿verdad? Porque la, la música es muy compleja. Pero sí da alegría eh, ver pequeños resultados que sabemos que si somos constantes, y pues seguimos estudiando, vamos a, a ser mejores y vamos a, pues a dominar el, el idioma. Así es que agradecerle a usted por la paciencia y por eh, enseñarnos y a los compañeros, ¿verdad? Porque creo que casi que todos los que comenzamos eh, terminamos hoy. Así es que eso, muchas gracias a todos. Yes, congratulations. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> yes, this, this has been a great class because you are very participative. Well, you're participative <laughs> when I call your name. And, and you are very intelligent. You catch easily. So that's nice. That's nice. And I see that you really want to learn. And that I think that is the most important, that you really want to speak English. You really want to learn. So please continue with that motivation, continue working hard, never give up, okay? And 
practice, practice, practice. That's very important because learning a language takes time, takes time and takes patience. You have to be patient with yourself. So don't give up, okay? Se lo voy a decir en español. Eh, lo que acabo de decir en inglés, que to, aprender un idioma toma tiempo y requiere que uno mismo tenga paciencia con uno, ¿verdad? Pero igual la práctica y la constancia, como dijo Jonathan, a seguir, ¿verdad? Ese es apenas es el módulo 2 y ya están viendo los resultados. Así que nunca se rindan y a seguir adelante. ¿Okay? Por mi parte fue un gusto haber estado con ustedes en este curso. Y pues, bueno, espero que más adelante nos podamos encontrar de nuevo. ¿Ok? Have a good day, guys. Thank you, teacher. Bye, Bye teacher. Thank you, teacher. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.